What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzy the Gifted. On this podcast, I do a brand new audio episode every single day documenting my journey as an independent musician. If you want to hear more about that and you're watching this on YouTube, click below in the link in the description and subscribe to the podcast. And if you're currently listening to the audio version, of course, tell a friend and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out. We're doing a brand new episode every single day, so do not miss out. The goal is to get to 400 episodes, 400 days in a row. Um, I might do more than that though, we'll see. But here's what I want to talk about today. Um, the title of this is How People Can Ruin Your Life. Here's the deal. I, I, I'm not going to make this all about, hey, I'm going to give you instructions. I'm going to teach you this new hack. I got to just get some off. I just got to get some off because um, this is as real as it gets. And I just want to give you me and tell you about my life and that's that. Um, I kind of feel like I've now noticed a new... Tr- something new in my head something new in my head that's a new trend that is the next thing I need to completely take care of um, but I want to explain the background on this so I am a big extrovert which means that I get energy from being around other people I have become a tiny bit more introverted where I really need that alone time and I need that time to just be like hey um, you know, I need my space. I need to just literally be by myself. I usually do that in the mornings and at night. Mornings is very like me, my morning routine, this, that, and the third. Nighttime is, you know, similar. I'll do an ice bath. I'll do exercise. I'll watch TV and I'll relax and I'll go to sleep. So anyway, but, you know, I am very like, I love being around people. I love talking to people. I love having conversations with people because that gives me energy. But I realized something and, and this is, this is, This is where me being sensitive comes on. So this is how I'm sensitive. This is one of the ways that I'm sensitive. I'm a sensitive person. Everybody's got their feelings and emotions. Some people choose to talk about it. Some people choose to accept it. And some people don't. And here's how I'm, here's one of the ways that I'm I'm a sensitive person. This is real. I don't know why, but for some reason I care so much about seeing other people win. And it isn't about, it wasn't a decision that I made. It wasn't. I don't know. I I just like seeing other people win. I like it. It's cool. It's fun. It's inspiring. And if I can help people do it, that's even better because then in my head, I'm like, oh, I helped that person. That makes me feel even better. Even if I didn't help that person, but they still win. Cool. That's cool too. Any winning. I like looking at winning. I like watching winning. I'm like the opposite of a hater. Like I'm the complete opposite of a hater. Here's the deal though. When I, my time I've realized is so valuable. And the reason is because I'm empathetic. My time is valuable because I'm empathetic. Why? When I have somebody that I really like care about that I think could be really something, you know, that I think is a good person or that has, we've had good times together or whatever it is, I want them to win so badly that I will emotionally invest in them winning. I don't give, sometimes yes, I'll give them time. I'll talk on the phone. I'll meet up in person. We'll do stuff together. I don't know, whatever. The point is though, I will do some kind of investment in that person. Time or emotions, not money usually. It will be though. But the point is, I give I give myself to that person. That's how I work. I give myself to people. The problem becomes if you don't if if I give you more than you give you, we are gonna have a problem. And this isn't me trying to inspire you. I'm not trying to inspire you. I'm giving you the fact of what it's like to have a relationship with Lee Litvin. This is really what it is. And so I have become I have become just much different in the way I react to people's stuff. You know, I'm usually I just don't have as much time. I make a long to-do list. I have a lot going on. I have a uh, I have I, I just it's a lot going on. I make myself busy because I like being busy and because I know I'm being productive because I love winning. So I put a lot of stuff on my list. So I can't talk to the amount of people that I used to be able to talk to. And it's, it, 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 it is what it is. But the way that I operate is if I care about you, if I want to see you win, if I've given you advice, but you're just doing all these things to get in your own way, I can't help you anymore. Because you know everything you need to do. 
and I'm not going to be here to repeat myself. I don't want to. I don't want to repeat myself. I don't want to be here to repeat myself. I don't want to constantly. I don't know. I just. I, this is this is the way I do it. Um. I called a friend of mine today. This is how I know the universe works. I was meditating today, and I thought about one of my friends. Thought about one of my friends, and I was like, man, I'm going to check in with him right after I'm done meditating. I'm going to give him a call. I finished meditating, and I was like, I usually don't look at my phone when I'm done meditating. But I was like, let me look at my texts. I checked my text. That friend texted me. Sent me a picture of his handwritten list for the day. He goes, I already got two things banged off my list. I've got three more things to do today. Woke up early and went and exercised. This is a friend of mine who never exercises and hates waking up early. But he literally did both of those things and wanted to tell me. I called him. I was, bro, I was just thinking about you. I was going to call you. I was going to ask you about how everything's going. And I didn't even have to. And so we had a great combo and he's just moving up in the world. He's moving up because he's making the decision to move up. It's taken me years of advice giving to him to get him to this point. But he's now at a point where he's like doing things for himself that I've been telling him to do. I want to talk to him more. I want to be around him more. I want to hang out with him more. I want to spend more time with him. I want to do more projects with him. But if you're somebody who can't get over your, sh- your, your stuff, if you can't get over your, your mental stuff, I cannot help you. I can help you a little, but not much. And I, by the way, after I've already helped you a little, I don't want to keep helping you. I want to help you if you're moving up, if you're up, upgrading and progressing. I will help. But if you're constantly, I, I just, if you're constantly stopping yourself and you're making excuses for yourself, and you're putting the, your mental blocks on yourself, I cannot help you, nor do I want to help you. I used to, back a couple of years ago, I used to be all like, I'm gonna help this person, I'm invested in this person. I'm not like that anymore. I'm invested in the right people. The movement that I'm building, I had a sweater that I did a while ago, said, um, it's not me, it's we, and I had this song called We Over Me. I still believe in that, it's about the team, but I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna be super honest, that we, that I was referring to, it, that we is not the globe. It is not seven billion. My tribe, our movement, our, our community, it's not, it is not everybody. It's not everybody. And there's no fee to pay to become part of the movement that I'm starting. There's no fee. If you're a motivated person, if you care about your success, if you do what it takes to get to that next step in your career, or your life, and you love being positive, and you care about your energy being in the right place, boom, you're a part of the movement. Even if you don't know who I am, even if you don't listen to my music, or subscribe to my YouTube, or on my, none of that, if you are a part of what I do. That's the people I do it for, that's the energy I do it for. It's for those people. But not everybody is a part of this movement. I don't want everybody a part of the movement. If you're an excuse maker, if you've been blaming COVID for your failures all year, if you can't get over your stuff, if, 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 if you use all of these external things as excuses for why you're not able to make things happen, you are not part of what I do. And I don't want you to be a part of what I do. Simple. If you want to be a part of what I do, if you want to get further along in your life, if you want to learn things, if you want to get to the next step in your career, you need to have the right attitude. And yes, I sound a little elitist. I'm not trying to be elitist, but I do want our movement to be an, a, an elite group of people. And it ain't got nothing to do with skin color or hair color or gender or sexual orientation. That has nothing to do with it. I accept every race, gender, religion, whatever. I accept everybody of that. I will not accept people who accept failure. I will not accept people who quit. I will not accept people, and I don't, and this is just talking about me and my life. I will not accept people who won't do whatever it takes. I will not accept people who make excuses and who lie to themselves every day. I'm not accepting people like that in my life. Therefore, you're probably not gonna be a part of the movement that I'm doing. Got it? That's really how I've been feeling lately. Um. If you watch this and vibe with what I'm saying, or if you're listening to this and you vibe with what I'm saying, I love you and I appreciate you and I want to help you and talk to you. 
but I don't I don't want to I don't want to help you if you're not going to help yourself. I can't help you if you're not willing to help yourself. I was actually on the phone with an artist yesterday. And it was it was a 15 minute discovery call about coaching. I actually told him not to buy my coaching. I gave him the price and I said, "You know what? You're not ready for this anyway. This isn't right for you. You're not at the point where you should be you shouldn't pay me for coaching. Like don't pay me for coaching." Here's some free beats. Here's a couple free videos. This is what you need to do. But I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want you to pay me to coach, to coach you. I can't help you. I'm not just in this for the money. I'm not. Oh, I love money, obviously, but that's not what I'm in this for. I'm in this to make an impact. And I've realized sales and making impact are similar. With sales. You guys ever heard here, you know, you hear the whole thing, sell me this pen. You guys ever heard that before? Like the old sales, uh, I don't know if it's a, it's not a trick. It's like the old sales question. Sell me this pen. Okay. Well, I'm not a sales expert, but here's what I would say. I'll go, do you need a pen? If the person goes, no, I don't need a pen. I'm going to go, okay. Do you know anybody that needs a pen? Or do you know like five people that need pens? And if they're like, uh, yeah, I know someone who, okay, well, what's their phone number? What's their email? I'm going to tell them about this pen that I have. That, like, they need this pen. Wait, you don't want to sell me the pen? Well, you don't need a pen, so why would I try to sell you a, something you don't need? You, I, like, let's say I'm at their desk and they have a thing full of pens. I'm like, well, why would I sell you, like, I think my pen's better than that pen, but you don't feel like you need a pen, so I'm not going to sell you a pen. It's the same thing with impact. Yes, you can change people's lives. You can change people's life. You can switch people's thinking. But I only have so much time in the day. I only have so much energy in the day. I only have so much effort that I can give other people. I have to give it all to me. Now, my friend who I called on the phone today, who was like, yo, I did this and this today. Dude, impacting him is easy. So I will continue to impact because it's not that hard. It's the same thing with sales. Why not talk to people who are easier to sell to. Like, why not talk to people who, now I'm not a sales expert, I could be wrong. Ask Grant Cardone, ask anybody who's a good salesperson. I could be completely wrong about sales. I'm not a sales expert. I'm not trying to train people on sales. This is just what I think. I could be totally wrong though. But like, why would you sell to somebody who doesn't need what you have or doesn't want what you have? Well, don't you, why wouldn't you just sell to people who are like, oh, I need that? Like when I talk to people about me coaching them, I go, "Are do you want coaching?" Like I give them my background, I tell them about what I, I obviously I ask them questions. I get to know people. I want to know if I can even help. And I go, "Okay, well here's my background." I go, "Look, I do one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Is like, is that something you're interested in? Like, do you want one-on-one -on -one mentorship?" Because like I'm not gonna try to get your money if it's not something you really want. Like, why would I do that? If somebody walks up to me and asks me about it, I. I'll talk to them. It's the same exact thing with impact though. I'm not going to try to impact people who can't be impacted. Like it's pretty simple. You know, that's why like you got to look, I tell the, I, when I coach basketball for kids, this is what I tell these kids. I go, which player do you want to be? Do you want to be the player that's hard to coach or do you want to be the player that's easy to coach? Now, as a coach myself, I will coach, it doesn't matter, I'll coach anyone. Right? I have to understand that when it comes to coaching, you have to be ready to coach kids that are difficult to coach and kids that are easy to coach. So I'm not saying I'm not coaching kids that are difficult to coach. But I do tell the kids, I go, well, which one do you want to be though? And I explain to them, this is what it takes to be an easy to coach kid. It has nothing to do with your height, how many shots you make, how tall you are, how athletic you are, or how cool you look, or what color socks and shoes you have. It has nothing to do with that. Are you eager to learn? Are you respectful? Are you excited to be here? Do you listen? And when I tell you to do something, do you do it right away? Or do you try to do it right away? That's what it takes to be easy to coach. Right there. The kids who are difficult, every single time you're doing the wrong drill. Literally every single time I see you, you're doing something different than what we're doing because you have no idea what's going on. Every single time I tell you to do something, you don't look me in the eye. You give me a face. Um, you don't know what to do because you're not listening. You're always distracting other people. Uh, you're lazy. That's the stuff where I go, you're difficult to coach. By the way, eventually I kind of just go, eh, I'm not going to coach them as much. 
I'll give this other person attention because they want it. But those kids, when you, you show me that you don't want attention, I won't give it to you. You're showing me you don't want it. Now, people that are in my life that are, you know, not in the situation of coaching children, in that other situation of real life, you complaining, you rejecting my coaching, you, you, you making excuses is the same way as saying, I don't really want to hear what you have to say because I'm not going to do it for myself. Cool. See ya. That's it. I'm actually saddened by this, by the way. Like, I'm saddened by this. Because I want to help everybody. But, like, if you saw my list of things to do, if you saw my schedule, if you knew what I was doing with my life every single day, if you knew what was going on in my head, which you'll never know what's going on in my head, but if you saw my list of things to do today, if you saw the amount of work I'm putting in per week, if you saw the lack of days off, if you understood how I don't take, how little amount of time I take off, if you really got that, you would understand, you would understand a lot more. And you'd understand why you're, why you're really in the wrong place. Because I'm not doing anything that, I'm doing something special to you, but to me, this ain't special what I do. I see dudes who are grinding hard. I learn from the top and I do what they do. So what I do is like, I'm just scratching the surface. Do you want success or not? Do you want to make it or not? What is success to you? I don't know what your success, success for me is different than success for you. What is it for you? It's not that hard. Um, I'm going to give you one tip. The number one way to get yourself on track is to exercise. It is the number one way to change your life. Why? You're going to do something that is uncomfortable, that's good for you. You will feel good physically, which will make you feel good mentally, which will make you feel good emotionally, and you can control your exercise. You can't control how many views you get on YouTube. You can't really control the amount of subscribers. That's something other people have to do. You can do everything, I'm, you know, like you can obviously put out a lot of videos and market yourself and pay for ads. Yes, there's ways to manipulate the system, but you control your exercise. You move your body. Like, see how I'm moving my hands? You can control what you do with your body. So do that. Then you will figure out how many other things you can really control in your life and you'll worry about what you can control and not what you cannot control. That's the advice I can give for you today, okay? If you got value from the episode, subscribe to the podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, but also go subscribe to the podcast. I, if you're watching this on YouTube, I know it sounds crazy. I would actually, I care more about you subscribing to my audio podcast than subscribing to the YouTube channel. I know that's weird, but if you could do that, that would be amazing, all right? Thank you so much for watching and listening and tuning in to the Music Mastery Podcast, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace!